Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the effect function to figure out the real or effective interest rate. Let's say, for example, that you are getting a car loan and they're quoting you a nominal interest rate, so you have to pay attention to this. They give you a nominal interest rate of uh, 4%, so it's 0 0.04 and that is over a period of 12 months. So you might think, oh, that's the real interest rate that I'm paying, but you have to take into account that maybe they're going to compound that over 12 months. And really the effective interest rate is a little bit more, and that's why you have a difference between the nominal interest rate and the effective interest rate. Now the main difference between the nominal interest rate and effective interest rate is that the effective interest rate takes into account a compounding. So also another example when you think about it is if you are saving and you have a savings account or some kind of investment account and they quote you a nominal interest rate of maybe 4% um, and they compound that over 12 months, your effective interest rate is basically a little bit higher because it's taking account of compounding. Now let's see how we can figure this out manually. So to get the effective interest rate of this 4% over uh, 12 months in a year. Let's say, for example, now we're gonna just calculate it out manually. So we're gonna say one uh, plus this particular interest rate, and we have to divide it by the 12 periods in the cycle, or the 12 months in the year. And we also have to bring it to the power of uh, that. So once that, that's done, it gives us 1.04. So basically, you're going to times whatever amount, $1,000 times 1.04, and that's your, going to be your final uh, amount. Um, but if we want to just see this in an in interest rate view, uh, basically what we can do is just minus off the 1 out of it, and we have our 4.07%. Now, we can also do this with the effect function. So the effect function, all, I need to, all you need to do is just type effect, and then take the nominal rate, which is this uh, 4%, and also the number of periods in the year. Now this NP, N-P-E-R-Y, that's, that's what it stands for, the number of compounding periods in the year. So it's assuming there's 12 months, 12 compounding periods within the year. So I'll select that, close parentheses, uh, press enter, and we'll have the same thing. So if you want to put this into a percentage view, you can click on the cell there and go under the number group and click on the percentage command here and just kind of bring it out, oops, bring it out here to get onto our hundreds decimal place. Or you can select it and just press Control, Shift, and the number five, and that also does the same thing as that. That's a keyboard shortcut. Control, Shift, uh, the number five, and you can just have to move the decimal point out that, and that will give you the percentage out to the hundreds place. So this is the way that you can calculate the effective interest rate. Uh, and there, of course, there's a difference between the nominal and effective interest rate. And you can do that either manually or you can use the effect function. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.